Cool. Right, fucking good episode. Yeah, I liked it. How are yeah. you? So we're doing a silo episode seven. Yeah. The flame keepers. Sorry. The flame keepers. Yes, we are. Yeah. So um let's have a go then. Uh do, 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 la, la, la. so I had to go back to the last episode because I was getting confused about where all these these artifacts were coming from. It was like they keep raiding people's homes. We've got the Pez dispenser. We've got um, the hard drive. Uh, we've got the book now with all the nice pictures in. Yeah. Um, and um, I was just like, where did they come from? Do you know what I mean? Because I was just, I was kind of like um, forgetting everything. And um, so I went back to Regina, which is. Um, George's ex-girlfriend. Oh, right. Yeah. So she got, she gave the book now to the sheriff, Julia. Yeah. She got it from George uh, in, uh, in in exchange for the hard drive. So George had the hard drive. Because what I was thinking is, where's the, where is it? Where's the hard drive, James? Well, we find it in the end, don't we? Yeah, we do. We do. Yeah. But but it's like, how many houses has it been in? Don't know. Anyway, so I was getting all a bit confused. And um, yeah. also, I, I needed to see um, Regina's um, speech again about, like, she's been surveilled. And, and at the end of the last episode, she brought up, yeah, it's not just judiciary. Some guy comes into a, into a gaff of a night. And um, like stands at the end of a bed and threatens her. I know she's a little bit mental, but yeah, you know you would be a bit mental after that, wouldn't you? You know, so yeah. like she says that there's a bloke who, who stands at the end of a bed threatening her, and that's why she gave up George to judiciary because they threatened her family basically. And her mum works in the mines. We haven't seen the mines yet, have we? No. So no, um, were mines. I, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so well, I mean, they must get stuff from somewhere because in this episode they talk about um, they've got Gloria locked up, and the episode sort of starts with her having like a really beautiful um, hallucination. Yeah, where she's on the beach and she's got that like beautiful beach. shell, and she's married with a baby, and she's got a little kid running around. And and um, then it transpires that actually it's just a hallucina hallucination, and a nurse turns up and gives a a sedative to to knock her out. Um, I, I thought in that bit that she was the kid. That that was my. Yeah, well, I think because I've seen it, the rest of the episode, they stopped her from having children. Oh, see, yeah, that makes more sense then. Yeah. yeah, so she's it's a fantasy of what you know, what life could have been uh, with the guy that she loved, but they stopped her for having children. Yeah. Uh, so it is really a, a fantasy hallucination. It's a really lovely one. Um, and, if you're um, into that sort of thing. Well, yeah. I mean, it's, got, it's, well, it's, getting married it's better and than kids and living in reality where she is at the moment. Around on the, yeah, poncing around on the beach all day. Yeah, it's not, nice. Not we all want to do that, but we can't, can we? No. I don't live in a silo. No, no, that's yeah. true. I what a negative thing more. to say. Sorry. Yeah, no, but I, I thought it was a really nice, uh, it was a really nice hallucination, and it turns out she's being drugged up in a psych ward, and they're keeping her sedated. Um, and in the book that she's given, uh, that Regina, Regina, gave to uh, the sheriff Julia, um, the book. In the front of it says uh, Gloria and George, which is her maiden name before she got married as Hildebrandt, I think. George Hilda. Is that so Gloria, what, what's a modern name? Maiden name, sorry. Uh, Gloria and George. 
Yeah, we're getting confused because the other guy's name is George, but his surname was not George. And her name is George. Yes. Okay. Or was. But right. now she's Hildebrandt. So it's Gloria Hildebrandt. It, it's, it does get confusing. Yeah, I, I've been I past... all of that. Yeah. <laughs> And, and anyway, so the nurse turns up with the needle, flicking the needle again, James. Yeah, I noticed that. It's the wrong type of needle as well. Yeah, wrong type of yeah. needle. Yeah, and then... Um, slip. You wouldn't do it. Lorazepam, uh, Lorazepam as well, which I know it is because I used to work in a, um, a psychiatric hospital. So it's you pretty can much, tell eh? just by looking at it. Well, no, because later on we see we, we see it later. We see the bottle that they've been given her and it says lorazepam <laughs> on it. And I know from experience that lorazepam is what they give to people um, to calm them down. Yeah. It's, uh, lorazepam is like really, it's almost instantaneous, the, um, the effect. Um, but in the real world, uh, you're not allowed to just keep giving it to patients. Well, in Britain anyway, you're only allowed. This is really boring. Sorry about this, but I've got, I've got, I've got to finish it now that it's coming out. Um, Go for it. <laughs> but um, in psych hospitals, if someone's kicking off, you can only give lorazepam twice per patient. That's it, um, mm. and that's and it, and it's got to be for self defence. You can't give it. You know, you can't continually drug somebody up like that. There's laws against it. Well, there is in this country anyway. Um, flicking the needle, yeah. I wish they wouldn't do that. I mean, all you're doing is bringing the bubbles to the top and injecting them with a bubble. What are you doing? Don't know. What are you Murder. doing there? Murder. Um, so I got a bit confused. Uh, the flowers are out of the vase in um, Juliet's place in her gaff. Yeah, they broke, broke the vase or something. She got a message, didn't she, saying That's they've right. broken your vase. I'd be yeah. like, why were they in my flat anyway? But she was just seemed like, oh, okay. Yeah. I don't understand why they were there anyway. How did she not notice that? I just, I'd be like, who the fuck's been in my room? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the vase is gone. Yeah. Anywho. Um, so, so we're, they've got this massive surveillance room and they're following her now because at the end of the last episode, they said, We've got, we've got to wake him up. And I was kind of expecting... I didn't know it was going to be Sims. No, I didn't. I thought it was going to be someone else. Yeah, me too. I yeah. did too. So a new character, I thought. I did too. Yeah. But it turns out it was Sims. And... Um, so it looks like she's sort of walking down the... Uh, she's, she kind of um, fobs off Billings again. And goes and walks down into the silo, and um, there was a bit of a moment with the camera that looked like one of the friends of um, judiciary was watching her, with some yeah. guy doing something with a wall. Um, and yeah, I noticed that. So she goes to see Gloria, and Gloria's been drugged up and held pretty much against her will on a psych ward. Um, then. She can't really get to talk to her. She wants to take her out and have a chat with her. But Juliet, um, the nurse is like, no, you can't do that, blah, blah, blah. And then Juliet goes to see the judge. Mm. And uh, the judge is getting drunk. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know if she's actually ill or she's just getting drunk now. Because I thought she was getting poisoned. Yeah. I thought so. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's, a, bit, it's a bit... Tricky to tell, to be honest. Or both, yeah. maybe. I think Juliet's been a bit of an arsehole in this one. I mean, she, like, fucks off. And then, I mean, she's doing what she's doing. But um, Billings gets a call and there's, like, a riot breaking out on one of the yeah. floors. And she turns off her radio and he, he's kind of left to deal with it all. But he's a fucking deputy sheriff. He should be able to fucking deal with it all. Yeah, yeah. You know I mean, it's like... I thought that was okay because he had a bit of a go at her about it, you know, and she he was sort of like shouting at her and shit. And I was just like, whoa. No, well, I actually, I was kind of on his side a bit about that because yeah. she, she's been I mean, a bit yeah, irresponsible. She did, she, she, she did sort of bugger off. Hey? Yeah, she did just sort of bugger off and, and leave him to it. So, yeah, you're right. She's yeah. only been there like a few days. And now she knows he's ill as well and he's got, you know, 
have a bit of sympathy for the guy. I know he's, you know, extrajudicial and stuff, but he seems all right. I mean, I, I kind of feel for him. I, I don't think he's an arsehole. I don't think he's like Sims. Do you know what I mean? Sims is like no. down the line. Yeah, he's going to lock you up or get you knocked off or kill you. Or do you know what I mean? But this guy is softer. You know, he's more likeable. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, let's see. Uh, so, yeah, she kind of does that. So, uh, and she has, a, she has a chat with the guy from IT, Bernard. And he's saying that he had a threat against him. Um, and that... He was saying about the servers, wasn't he? That the servers are being used to control everything it's and that, yeah and that his you know that's what his job is or his job was before he became mayor they're all over, working under fear time. aren't they they're all yeah. all of them fear of death yeah. or fear of family getting killed or something yeah exactly you see i don't know how to trust tim robbins because no, I don't. Cause I don't recall in the book him being a particularly sympathetic character at all yeah, no, he seems a bit nicer in this than he was in the book. Yeah, he but seems kind it, of normal. But then it's possibly all just, you know... It's a facade. Yeah, exactly, more than likely. Yeah, yeah, so... Um, so he says that... Uh, so he's basically saying that he's kind of against the uh, judiciary, but he's, he, he's not being allowed to be... Um, so it's, yeah, it's more of a symp sympathetic. But in the book, uh, the head of IT is a, a total bastard. So I'm not sure if she's just being pulled in, um, you know, getting it, getting her to trust him, so that you can fuck her over later. I'm not sure, really not sure about um, the Bernard character. Yeah. So um, Yeah, it's it's tricky. This, I mean, it's weird because this is episode seven. There's only three left, and it's like I, yeah. I don't. Know, I thought this episode was a bit weird. It sort of didn't really. <laughs> it's almost you know not really a filler episode, but like no, I really liked it actually, especially yeah. towards the end. It got really tense. Yeah. I thought, I well, that's my experience of it. Um, yeah. Uh, the, and she goes to see the uh, judge in the end. Takes a breakfast in. Turns out the judge got drunk, um, and I don't know if she's still getting poisoned. I feel like she's getting poisoned, like yeah. she's done something wrong in um, judiciary. And she says a lot of really quite important things as well. She said that she can't go against um, this, you know, lock up of Gloria. They've got they've got Gloria locked up. And uh, you know they're giving her medicine without a, um, without a consent, and um, the judge says I can't do anything about it. You know, um, it's not me; it's them. They won't let you. You know, they won't let you go and see a sort of thing, and um, she's just sort of they're getting drunk on a couch of all her relics. Um, so that says to me that she's not the queen I thought she was. Yeah. I thought she was like fully in charge, but she's just like everybody else. She's. Yeah. Yeah. I, I sort of like, I mean, th that whole thing in her apartment confused me as well. Cause why she got like an etch -a sketch, you know, as a, a relic, like on the, as the main display as you enter her home. I thought they weren't, I thought they were supposed to not you know, relics were illegal and stuff. I just don't understand now why, like, everyone seems to have one. Well, I think... It's all if, right. It's just... I think some of them are allowed. I, I don't know about an extra sketch, but, I mean, obviously the watch is allowed. The Pez dispenser wasn't allowed. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a bit random. It is ra totally random, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Quite... And she's so, got in yeah. this glass dome. Yeah. But maybe that well, that's what Juliet says, doesn't she? She says that the price of you having this flat and all this stuff is that you do what they say, basically. And we still don't know who they are yet. No, not yet. So, um, anyway, she goes, uh, Juliet goes to see her dad, 
and um i think that's i've got i made some notes and um he's like no no i can't help you and then he does help her yeah and uh turns out that he's a bit of an arsehole as well <laughs> everyone's an arsehole yeah exactly but you know i mean he's like you know i didn't he didn't know what they were doing. I mean, he never really explained what he did, but yeah, sort of that, that he was giving them birth control or something. Or he'd, yeah, he'd taken the birth control out, but he well, hadn't really. Yeah. yeah. But like, well, again, you what... know, that's not, you know, he said I didn't have a choice. So, so Gloria gets like really, really agitated. Um, so they gave her, they gave her something to reverse the effects of the Lorazepam. And um, I know what that is. Should I say that drug? Yeah, why not? Yeah, uh, flumanazil. It um, mm. doesn't always work. Can be partial. Can be full. Yeah. Cool. Um, but they give it to people basically people who've like overdosed on um, benzodiazepines because that's what um, lorazepam is. Um, a lot of people take them because they probably the only thing that stops people from getting anxious. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, anyway, he gives her, he gives her some of this stuff, and um, it has a bad effect. She goes into a seizure, uh, but they sort of talk her down. I don't know how they did that. I'm not sure. She just sort of calmed down after a bit. Yeah, they just counted at her. They did, they right. just went one two thousand two two thousand. Pretty sure that doesn't happen in real life. Someone's having a Unless seizure. He was measuring her pulse or something. Yeah, to see I whether her that. heart rate's coming down. I might have to watch that bit again. Um, Could you have just taken her pulse rate? I'm sure they have a, you know. Yeah. Just held her by the wrist and counted her pulse. I don't know. I don't know. So they they kind of get Gloria out of her funk. And then um, she recognises Juliet's dad as the physician who stopped her from getting pregnant. So, of course, she's, like, scared for her life. Um <clears throat> Anyway, he, he buggers off and then we sort of go back to Sims now and in the janitor's room, which is what I said last time, what's behind the janitor's door? Turns out bloody everything is behind there. He, he goes it's, it. Huh? Yeah. Is that where the room is? Yeah. The room with all the cameras and that. Yeah, it's got. he, he goes in there and um, he's got a code for the door. Um, and that's where all the cameras and surveillance gear is. I'm not sure if it's the same place where he's got all that, um, you know, all the, all the stuff in the red packages, all the of the red, art, you know, yeah. that stuff. I'm not sure if it's the same place, but all of that. So I'm starting to think that Sims is like the top bod now, or at least working for the top bod, because the judge, yeah. it seems to me now that she's beneath Sims, Sort yeah, of. I can't see Sims being the top bod though, because he just all he does is like shout at people, really, isn't it? Yeah. Like, like in the last couple of episodes, all he does is like he's in that room with those people. Well, and maybe, he's like, and he's just like, "Where is she?" And they're like, "We don't know." And he's like, "Find her!" And that's all he says, like throughout those episode, really. Yeah, being angry. Like, well, that's not really helpful to speak to people like that, really, <laughs> is it? You know, I mean, you're the supposed to be the sort of guy in the field, so why don't you go and find her? I'm thinking Not he's me. like a lieutenant. <laughs> I think he's like a lieutenant for the yeah the, the mysterious yeah they well, yeah clearly that, he must be. There's no way he's like just yeah. doesn't seem smart enough. But I think he's um I think he's got more power than the judge now because she's stuck indoors getting drunk. Yeah, he's just like the Gestapo, isn't he? You know, sort of. yeah. He's so, just a, a grunt, a henchman, pretty much. So anyway, they, they they kind of get Gloria to sort of calm down and um, talk. And this is where she talks about the flame keepers. She was one. And these are people who um, keep the memory of the before times alive kind of thing. And um, they keep the relics. And um, I feel like I'm doing all the talking. Is that all right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. And uh, so Gloria points out that she, her mother had this book and her mother gave the book to her, the yeah. one with the shells and stuff in it. And um, so I don't know how George got hold of it or that woman, got Regina, got hold of it. 
But this is all George confusing. George gave it to her, I think. But didn't he get it from his mum, didn't he? George got it from his right, mum. Right, okay. Oh, yeah. So Gloria's mum gave the book to George's mum. It somehow yeah. got lost and then he swapped the book for the for the hard drive. Swapped it? Swapped the book for the hard drive, didn't he? Who did he swap it with? Regina. Oh, is that right? Yeah. I missed that completely. <laughs> We're so doing really well this week. Drive. Oh, okay. so she had the hard drive. Regina, Regina had the hard drive, but I don't know where she got it from. Right, oh, I don't know. Um, she she <laughs> gave it, I know, right? So she gave the hard drive to George and he swapped to his most um, his, his precious thing, which was the book with all the lovely photos and stuff in it. And, um, th and that was before everything. So when Alison... Holston's wife hmm. went down. He had the hard drive now, and yeah. he was looking at it. Needed Alison's, you know. Then yeah, she yeah, looked yeah. at the hard drive. Had to, you know, go out and clean. Death, yeah, you know. So, episode, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So it also turns out there's blind spots in in the uh, silo as well, which I thought was quite interesting because you would think that, yeah. I don't understand how things work because they've got if they've got a mine, they can manufacture metals. Obviously, yeah, things I like shit. Yeah, I don't understand. I don't believe that. I don't. I didn't get. I didn't. I didn't hear that thing about the mine at all. It's like it was Regina's the books, mom. They didn't have mines because they wouldn't. I mean, they just it, that would be like no, where's no, the, no. Where's the mine? Them mine? Because they won't mine their way out. So oh yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's why no one's allowed down the bottom, so I don't know where that mine thing came from. Also, they'd be able to manufacture metals and stuff from mining. Yeah. I mean, they're not just going to, like, I don't know. And then also the fact they've got lorazepam and flumazenil in, so they must have some kind of chemical factory somewhere that they're making this stuff. These are all manufactured drugs. It's not yeah. like you can... No, you can't make tree. them. They must, have, they must have a store of them or something. I seem to, you know, I mean, I got a feeling that they've just got loads of it. Yeah, but lorazepam and, and diazepam actually have got a really short shelf life, especially yeah. the injectables. Yeah, but it hasn't You've explained any of that. But it doesn't look like they've got like a manufacturing plant. But I mean, yeah, you can. I, just, I mean, if you've got yeah. the chemical structure, you can make them, but you need yeah. the raw materials to do that. Yeah. So I, I don't know how things work now. But I but, thought the whole the whole point of well the silo is that you know it's sort of they're supposed to be there for a limited period of time, a couple of hundred years. And yeah. you know, until things are okay outside. So I, you know, I was just thought that they just give them masses and masses of stores of stuff. I mean, yeah, it doesn't make sense because those drugs will expire. But like I yeah, can't see them saying, Oh, just mine as well. Like, because where's the entrance to the mine? You couldn't yeah. mine underneath because the silo's built on the. Do you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, where's but, the mine? Yeah. yeah. Who so said that, about the mine anyway? Because I don't. It, it was Regina. Was, she was saying that her mum um, was in the mines and she could get her mum out of the mines or something, some kind of favour for uh, grassing up I a bunch of people totally. dealing. Yeah, I'm not getting that, I have to say. Because um, no. I'm starting to question it, the whole sort of setup now. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe they've changed it just radically from the book. Because like, I mean, oh, well, yeah, I don't remember any of this. this if there's mines, people would just dig their way and see what's you know what I mean. But but then why would they why would they restrict people going to the basement sort of levels? Yeah. If they if they wanted the mines. Yeah. I don't, know. I don't think that was in the book, and it doesn't kind of make sense. No. I mean, what are they mining? How are they mining are they coal? Mining? Yeah. How Metal? Are mi how are they mining? What have they got? How are they mining? Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Have they got big digger machines? Are they just sort of tipping, tip, hitting away with pickaxes? Where's it? Where's all the excess rock go? Yeah. Yeah. The, the uh, what's yeah. the, what they call that? Oh, they call it something. I can't remember now. Uh, but yeah, you always get a big pile of stuff, don't you, when you've mined out all the, the good stuff. But um, yeah, so anyway, we're talking about the flame keepers and um, 
Glory said something interesting in that there's, they put stuff in the water to make people forget, but they can't breed out curiosity. Mm. Um, she pointed out that um, Juliet's mum was kind of a flame keeper, but not really sort of spiritually. She was probably a flame keeper. And uh, they mentioned helping her with the mag uh, magnification thing she was making and um and then it all gets really sort of tense because um they realize that they've been watched through the mirror and uh yeah, she finally twigs that it finally twigs that uh she finds the hard drive finally and um she disappears before the uh goon squad turn up so where was the hard drive this time it was it, in it was in glory hilda brant's hospital room in nice, the vents nice, nice. how did it get there uh sheriff George put it there <laughs> sheriff holston came to see her briefly yeah and he did something with the flowers in front of the mirror well how did no, he get it how did he what how did he get the hard drive um george gave it to him did he yeah <laughs> fuck have you watched this <laughs> it feels like i haven't <laughs> It is really complicated because I've, I've, like I was, that was, um, I just went back on a few of the episodes just to see where things were going. But we've, I think we've gone into too many apartments. There's too many bloody artifacts floating around. Yeah. yeah we could have done without that whole Pez dispenser thing completely. Yeah, it still doesn't make sense. Yeah. So, I mean, I kind of like, I mean, this episode, I mean, the flame keeper thing, I sort of understand, I think I understand what they're doing, like when they're sort of stopping people having babies. Because I was like, why would they do that? Because it seems like a bit of an extreme punishment just for someone who breaks the law. Mm. But but it, I think it's like they're trying to stop the kind of word of mouth. Because obviously people who are in the silo first would remember everything about the outside. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. And over generations, you pass things down verbally. And then maybe a few things get forgotten. Yeah. But then, you know, and some, and so all of a sudden generations start growing up in the silo without any knowledge of that. And all they know is from their parents and stuff. So is it, is it those people who are sort of trying, making a big point of teaching their children about what the world was like before? Are those the ones that are like, yeah, you. you, know, but, then you how, but then, if you've already had children, what's the point in stopping you from having? Do you know what I mean? It doesn't make any fucking sense, really. <laughs> no, well, I, I mean, I would have thought if they'd had to sort of sacrifice a hell of a lot to to be, and they've built this great big place, you know, uh, supposed to be sort of self sufficient and everything, and you would think that they'd want to give that, you know, to their kids. Of course, you can't stop your mum and dad talking about stuff when they were little. Yeah, you know they can't help themselves. They they're always on about it. Do you know what I mean? Um, I mean, dad tells me about like he was a youngster, a uh, young lad in World War Two, and his he was staying at his auntie's house, and it got flattened overnight when he was in the underground shell so and he came up and he said we weren't frightened it was all fun it was adventure and we could go through the rubble and find stuff of our neighbors and you know what i mean it, it yeah you can't shut them up mums mums and dads do you know what i mean so i would have thought training that out of people that would take more than 100 years surely yeah i don't i don't understand to be fair i mean <laughs> I, I I found this episode just really frustrating. In fact, even the last one at the moment, I'm kind of just like, I don't, I just honestly don't really quite know. There's just so many inconsistencies in this version of the story. I think at the moment, right? It's yeah. just kind of like, do you know what I mean? It's there's a lot of repetition. There's all this sort of banging on doors. Um, yeah, I I just don't know. I mean, yeah. I mean that's that should in a way give us a good sense of mystery and stuff. But like, I think we already had that in the early episodes and now it's like, do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm getting a bit confused with knocking on people's different doors. Yeah. And I'm getting a bit confused with the relics. So I had to go back and watch yeah. a couple of the episodes again where, where the relics are concerned because I was like, well, who's got the bloody, 
you know what I mean? Where is it? Where's the hard drive? Um, the Pez dispenser thing could have just been completely left out, I think. That that just confused me even more than anything because that was going to different people's apartments and finding yeah. it. And I mean, stuff. if it was just one, okay, weird object, what is it? That's fine. But, like, why do they have a file on it? Yeah. Why is it prohibited? I mean, yeah. it's not it's not any kind of technology. Yeah, and why are you, like, you know, that if, if no one's allowed, if they're illegal, why does everyone have them? You know, like, because everyone seems to have them, don't they? It's like... Yeah, I thought it was death to have a relic. I've, that's what I yeah. thought at the beginning, but now it's kind of like no, you can you can actually sell them to people and still be you know allowed to live. Yeah, I don't understand. Yeah, I, I don't. must say I'm quite frustrated with it. <laughs> really, I, I actually moment. really liked it. I I really yeah. liked the episode. I thought I got a sense of excitement towards the end. She found the thing, but we're sort of no closer. No. To anything than we were from the first episode when Alison found the hard drive and she saw a few things on it which we weren't shown. So we've, we're no sort of, you know, we're getting yeah. sort of they, there's a they now, and it looks like the judge is not in charge. Yeah. So we're getting tiny, tiny little bits of information. But I mean, I thought it was quite exciting towards the end, you know, the, the, the goon squad were turning up. And um, she had to get out of there because they were probably going to kill her. Yeah. So like they have uh, a military presence almost, sort of stuff like that. I mean, I think, you know, <clears throat> it would have been better, and maybe this is what will happen in the next one, is if when we saw the secret room with the cameras and that, and it was Tim Robbins who, yeah. you know, because that's who I think it is. I think he's Sim's boss. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like, it, but they should probably should have just that done makes that then, sense. rather than doing it again, like in the next one, you know, saying, oh, you know, and th and everyone's, I think they're expecting the audience to go, ooh, Tim Robbins is the bad guy. But I think it's obvious. Do you know what I mean? Like, I just, no one, I don't trust him. <laughs> no, well when, it, well, when you first meet him, he, he is just like the office arsehole, isn't he? Yeah. So um, there was nothing about him I liked, that, that I liked there. Um, like he was saying to Alison about, you know, the notice she'd put up and how we taking it down and not to consult, you know, she hadn't consulted him and stuff like that. Um, so, but but he's turned out to be a bit more sympathetic. Yeah, but I th yeah, I just think that's he's just trying to get get her confidence that she tells him what she's up to. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Me too. I, I think it's a facade. Yeah. So, yeah, it would make sense that he was the, the boss of Sims. Yeah, I mean, he got the mayor's job as well, innit? it? And he said it was Judge Meadows who insisted upon him having the mayor's job or something. But, like, she's obviously not in charge. And because obviously you've got all the information, all of it. Yeah. And they allow judicial to, to see whatever. Yeah. You know, judicial will have to have, like, permission for whatever server to, to have that database they've got on relics, whereas IT have got a whole thing. Yeah. I, I think they're just sort of, they've almost ignored the big question, which is that why can't they go outside? They just yeah. haven't really talked about it because the air's bad. And we know in the first couple of episodes that if you go outside, you die. And, like, you know, we know there's more to that. Yeah. But, like, you know, all this other stuff, just kind of seems to be taking priority. Mm. Whereas like, you know, like what would be anyone's interest in keeping you all down there indefinitely know. if there was a chance you could leave? None of them seem bothered. to. None well, them, that's you know. what I thought we were going to get the answer to. Well, yeah, exactly. That's the, th that's the mystery. That's the whole mystery. But mm. it's like, and obviously I think they're going to have to do that, but I, I just think it's been, a, it's a long time getting to that point yeah you know i think a lot of the last couple of episodes just seem to be kind of a bit about not boring stuff but you know because they're trying to sort of set up this big conspiracy thing but i think they've done it you know, yeah we, did, we didn't need the rest of it really i mean i thought yeah. the last episode was a bit messy i was getting confused and they had to watch it again so, because the, the, there was too many relics, too many people's doorways we were going to and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's kind of, of like incidental characters. Yeah. Like all these sort of ex-criminals and stuff like that who don't really have anything to do with it. 
Yeah. We spent a lot of sort of time on them and, you know, I think they need to do better. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of like this one. I did like this episode. Um, yeah. I liked, I liked Gloria. I thought she did a good job in this, um, the actress. Yeah, because we saw her in the beginning, didn't we? She was in the she was in the, one of the early episodes, and she was like sort of giving her a little bit of a warning and stuff. Yeah. So why did she? If she's ancient, you know, she's like whatever her age she is. How come they? She's in the hospital now. Why was she in the hospital before? What happened? Well, they locked her up, didn't they? Yeah, but why? But why? What happened in between the first episode and this one to make her do that? You know, it's like I mean, I can imagine if she'd been in there for twenty years or something. But like, yeah. why was she allowed? Why you know? Well, they arrested her after. Um, I mean, when Alison went outside, Holston went down. They raided a bunch of places where Alison had talked to. Um, so yeah. she was talking oh, to her yes. as a was a, as a birth a person, and um, a couple of George as well. So George died. They lock. Yeah, I don't know why they would lock her up rather than just knock her off. Actually. Yeah. Why keep her alive? Doesn't make sense. No. Yeah, there's a lot of inconsistencies with the like the law and um you know, why would a pen pest dispenser be <laughs> illegal? It's not, you know, they've got better mechanical things there, so it's not like you know, no one knows what the fuck it is anyway. Yeah. You know, it's not like a video camera. I mean, they get a video camera and a hard drive. I get that. Um, so, yeah, yeah. It's, a bit yeah, confusing. I, and the mind thing for really did, as well. And mm. I think they kind of, yeah, the minds thing. I mean, I don't, I'm going to have to look back because I don't remember anything about it. was in, um, about the minds at all. It was episode six with Regina. Uh, that was uh, George's ex girlfriend. So the scenes with her. Um, she was saying why she gave up the names of the people who deal in the relics. And it was, um, she mentioned her mum being in the mines. Um, so I don't know if she's still ill, she's dead, or there's the, the, they still have mines. Where are the mines? Don't know, mines. Yeah, just doesn't make sense. If yeah. everything's self-contained in the silo, why, how, why would you be allowed to go outside? Even if it's like through rock, just doesn't make sense. I mean, they would need something for power. They would need to burn something for power. Well, they have a they generate, don't they? Yeah, which you would need to fuel with something, wouldn't you? Uh, yeah, if you had, yeah, like a mechanical digger or something. I mean, do they have batteries and stuff? I don't know. I don't fucking know. I don't know. Don't to be know, honest, it's like. You know, to, uh, at the moment, it's too many sort of confusing bits in this, like, you know. Yeah. I, you know, I would advise people to read the book, <laughs> to be honest, you know, at the moment. Yeah, it's kind of yeah like, fuck it off. Just read the book. No, the I, book. Did, I did. Lot, I like this episode. I don't know why, but I did. I, yeah. I got really excited by the end. I thought, oh, get the fuck out of there, Juliet. I'm coming to get you. Um, and hopefully next. So we've got three episodes left. So they've got they've got to pay up, haven't they? now yeah with some ink they have to because if it's a bit yeah. i mean you know if it's a bit sort of like the way it's been the last couple of episodes i don't think they'll get their second do you think they're being overly subtle i think they think they're being overly subtle oh, okay I mean, do you know what it may be the fact that we read the story and we know kind of what's happening yeah maybe, maybe yeah it's that. probably throwing us off isn't it but like yeah. but to be honest i think you know, it's obvious that, you know, there's a conspiracy going. I don't think it's like that's what we know and the people watching don't know. There's obviously a reason they're trying to keep them down there. Yeah, why reason. live there? You know. Yeah. Yeah, you know, like, so it's obvious it's there, but they're just not talking about it. Yeah. I mean, or from the first ordinary. impression of the two episodes, you thought that anybody who dealt in a relic was going to be instantly killed or sent out to clean. That's, yeah. That was it. Um but then it turns out that there's other people who are dealing in relics or known dealers in relics and still have relics are, are perfectly fine and living in the silo. So there's like a lot of things really. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I think it's gone, it, gone downhill. I was going to say, but like, it's like, since they got rid of um, the mayor and, and 
Marnes as well. Yeah. Like, because they're both really, really good actors and really sort of like, you know, yeah. at the moment, you've really, really got Juliet, who's any good. I don't know, I really like look, Billings, actually. Yeah, I like Billings. I don't, I don't think there's enough decent I liked, characters in I it. Like, you know? Yeah, well, I like really, I really like Gloria in this one as well. I thought she was really yeah. good in it. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of sort of, yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe you should leave it there and then pick it up next week, yeah. see how it goes. Yeah, I mean, I'm, yeah, I don't know what's... I, 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 to be honest, I've got no idea where they're going to go after this now. So now she's got the hard drive, so what's she, how is she going to use that? I'll tell you what as well, I, this, this stuff with the guy sitting there watching the stars is boring. I'm just bored of it. It's like it's the same every single episode. You have this little sort of bit at the end yeah. where she sits there talking to the guy about the stars. And it's like, I just don't understand why. Yeah, they're, they're trying to make him a they, thing and it's kind of obvious. But why do they keep doing it? Why is it the same? It's, it's the same scene in every episode. I don't know. Really, you know, it's just kind of a bit boring, I think. I don't know. know. I think they're going to set her up for a betrayal or he's oh, going yeah. to help her out. That's the only he's two working. ways it's going to go. Yeah, he's obviously working for, um, you know, Tim Robbins. Well, he's like, IT, uh, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. You know so, I mean? Or yeah. she's, yeah, she's going to, they're setting her up. So that she asks him for help with the hard drive. That's basically it, isn't it? Mm. And then he's going to go, ha ha, I'm actually a bad guy. Yeah. We're going to go, she's going to go, oh, yeah. fuck it then. Fuck it all off. Well, look, it's only one, I mean, you can either help her or fuck her off. It's the same. Yeah. You know, it's 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 too, it's a 50 50 chance at the moment. Yeah. Um, but I just don't see him as trustworthy at all. She just doesn't know what he does. Mm. He says he's an analyst, but she don't know. No, he's always there could when be he's anybody. Yeah. He always, he's only there when she's there. Yeah. You know what I mean, like, so it's just, you know, if I was her, I'd be like, this fucking guy's a fucking creep. Yeah. Following me about, you know what I mean? Like, knowing I'm going to be here and then here and then tries it on with mm. her. Yeah, let, let's just leave it there. Yeah. You you didn't like it. I liked I, it. I, I just, uh, I'm getting frustrated with it, you know, and mm. it's like, I think they're muddy in the waters. And they yeah. should have stuck to the main story rather than... I think than... they've made it over-convoluted. It doesn't have to be... Yeah. And I kind of get it because, like, you, you're trying to make get a picture of what's going... You know, of the silo and life. And so, but, like, they haven't really done that. Like, we still don't know what people do all day. Mm. Like, what do people do for a living? You know, yeah. um, sort of how do they get their food? We mm. don't know any of that stuff, you know. And, yeah. like... So I think they could have done a bit more about that. Yeah. Because it just seems to be the sort of same people and like, you know, uh, always like, you know, there's a scene where there's a little kid sort of like with a little bit of paper dropping it off the edge and watching it flitter down. Yeah, what was that about? a smile on her face and it's like, God, are you that fucking simple? Kids are not that easily pleased. No. And the dad's like, wow, isn't this great? And it's just this way they, 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 um, portray sort of peasants. normal people yeah yeah you know, the working class in these things it's all like absolutely happy as pigs in shit happy with nothing <laughs> to just smiling at each other trading fruits and vegetables you know they do this in star wars yeah you know what i mean you'll see like peasant people Salt of the earth. They're, yeah they're all just like in rags and they're all just like hi everyone and they're all like really happy <laughs> and it's really really po- condescending yeah, it is. You know what I mean? like, Obviously written by somebody who... It's the same yeah. as in like Star Trek or something, you know. It's, they do the same in that. All the sort of working class people who have no power, they're all like really happy, just sort of like, you know, bits falling off them and living in huts. Yeah, you know? happy because, with a bit of folded because... paper. Yeah, do you know wow, what I mean? Wow, thanks, Dad. Thanks, Woo-hoo! Dad. That's the right. You know, like, it's just bollocks. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's mm. just... It's just, it does that, you know, they do this in so many shows, you know, and like. It's because they have no no idea what the real world's really like. Yeah, it's very patronising, you know, it's like.